In this session, I will explain how to set TC work shift and tool offset. Work shift sets the origin of the workpiece in the program based on the cross section of the workpiece. Clamp the workpiece to be set on the chuck and select the reference tool. Issue the M03 command after the G97S command in the MDI mode to rotate the workpiece. Select the jog mode and move the tool close to the workpiece. Select the handle mode. Approach the cross section by feeding the handle. Machine the workpiece a little bit and then lift the X axis on top of the workpiece only without moving the Z axis. To display the work shift setting screen, first press the offset button and the soft key arrow button at the bottom of the screen and then press the work shift or move W button. If you move the cursor to the measured value Z, enter the number 0 and press the soft key input button at the bottom of the screen. The measured value will be entered to the movement value Z automatically. Set the tool offset after setting work shift. If you press the offset button, and press the soft key offset button at the bottom of the screen, the offset screen will be displayed. Press the shape button at the bottom of the screen and move the cursor to the offset number Z value of the tool. Enter Z0 and press the soft key measure button at the bottom of the screen to input the offset correction value. However, zero should be entered if the current tool is the reference tool. Next, let's look at how to set the x-axis offset. Feed the handle to machine on the outer diameter of the x-axis. Then, move the x-axis in the plus direction without moving the x-axis. Stop the spindle and measure the diameter of the workpiece. Move the cursor to the offset number x value of the current tool. The correction value is entered automatically if the soft key measure key is pressed at the bottom of the screen after entering the measurement value. Set other tools using the same method. That is the end of my explanation on how to set TC work shift and tool offset.